Welcome to Digital Electronic Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dulakia, is going to explain you truth table, characteristic table and excitation table of leaf flop in this video. And after this video, I am going to explain different leaf flops in detail. So at that time, I will not explain the meaning of these tables. So you just see this video so that in future when you see different flip flops in detail, at that time it will be easier for you to understand all flip flops. So I'll explain you first what is the basic block diagram which is there with flip flop. Now see in flip flop very important terminal that is clock signal. So you see here I have given one clock signal and over here if I say my input that is I in. When I explain you different flip flops at that time there will be different input as per the different flip flop like there can be D flip flop. So in that there will be D input there can be T flip flop in that there will be T input. When I explain SR flip flop at that time SNR two inputs will be there. And when I explain you JK flip flop at the time J and K two different inputs that will be there over here. And there will be two different outputs. One is Q and second is Q bar. So clock Q and Q bar that will remain same for all flip flop. As per the different flip flop input terminal will change. Right. Now let us try to understand first what is the meaning of truth table. See truth table is a table in between input and output. So when you make truth table at that time you will have to make a table in between input and output. You see in input we have clock. So here we have clock and generalize input that I have taken that is I in. So this will be I in that will be my input and output will be Q and Q bar. So this is true table of flip flop right and see from this truth table we make another truth table that is similar to this where we say our input is clock and I in terminal and now I am explaining my output in terms of next state. So next state is Qn plus 1 and that is what we identify based on previous state. So this is even my truth table. Right. So when we study truth table of leaf flop at that time you will have to make a table in between input and output. Right. Now let us try to understand second table that is characteristic table. So see characteristic table that is a table in between current state and input with respect to next state. So if I say my current state that is Qn and my input that is I in and if I say my next state that is Qn plus 1. So that is what my output next state right after giving input. So that is what the table which is there in characteristic table. So see in characteristic table you will be having a table for current state and input with respect to next state. So that is how we have characteristic table where Qn plus 1 that will be next state at output Qn that is current state at output and with respect to input this current state will change and there will be next state right. Now I will explain you third important table that is excitation table. So see in excitation table you will be finding that table that will be there in between current state next state with respect to input. So this is how excitation table will be there. 
So excitation table that is there in between current state, next state with respect to input, right? So this is how different three tables that we are delivered to study. And in all these tables, my input that will be different with respect to different flip flop. If I have D flip flop, then I have D instead of I in. If I have T flip flop in that case, we'll be having T with respect instead of I in. If I have SR flip flop, then there will be two different inputs SNR instead of I in. And if I have JK flip flop in that case, I will be having J and K two different inputs instead of I in. And we need to make these tables to understand flip flop in complete detail. So in next video, I'll be explaining SR, JK, D and T flip flop with all these tables, right? So you just see all those videos that will be helpful to you to understand how those tables are there. And by using these tables in future, we will be solving many problems regarding flip flop conversion, regarding counter designing as well as regarding register designing. So I hope that you have understood this video.